Western media would have you believe that Iran is some sort of evil enemy. So do they not remember the Iran-Contra scandal of 1986? This week, let's talk about that. Have you ever heard of the Iran-Contra scandal? No, oh, sorry. No, I haven't. No. You no. have a nice date. No. I have not heard of that. No, is that something big? Uh, no. Yes. Yes. Do you remember what it was about? No. What was it about? Do you remember? Uh, nuclear weapons, I believe. The Iran kind of was about the army going in and trying to take away the oil, isn't it? It was about uh, Oliver North uh, was taking uh, funds from selling arms to Iran to use to fund the Contras in uh, in in, I'm going to say no, it's not uh, Nicaragua. You got it! And now we make Iran out to be the bad guy, right. but here we were exchanging arms with them. Right. Why do you think the world is okay with that? Well, because America's a hypocrisy. Do you think that the world knows that this is a hypocrisy? Uh, I guess we know a little bit about it, but sometimes I find us to be very naive and we are really not aware of everything that's going on out there. They were in war with Iraq, so, you know, we, were, we thought that they were, they were the good, relative good guys, and Iraq was, the, you know, the bad guy. So, you know, it's just a whole, it's, it's ridiculous, the whole thing. If we change our definition of who's good and who's bad to suit our needs whenever, doesn't that kind of make good and bad relative and meaningless? Absolutely. It's almost 30 years ago. So in 30 years, someone can go from being an ally to an enemy? Well, unfortunately, that happens, yeah. So we should probably be more careful with whom we give arms to. That is a very good observation. But then again, you never know which side of the regime you fall on when you support something. And one of the issues of US foreign policy is they've always picked sides, which they did in Vietnam, they did it in other places. And sometimes they were successful, sometimes they weren't. Whether not people remember the Iran-Contra scandal. The bottom line is the media certainly seems to have a selective memory that suits whatever message they'd like to promote.